Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kazaridux. I'm your host, Mr. Herman von Goring Lava and highest of all to all of you, but we need to read about Goring's true intentions uh, regarding especially to the NKR. After careful and quiet investigation from uh, paid snitches and informants within Goring's young officer clique, a small but growing clique within the NKR, a full, the full extent of him and Goring's maniacal acts and ambitions have come to light. The chief figures within the NKR namely Daddy Hadrish and Von Epp, have realized that Goring is nothing but a madman, heck-bent on total domination within Middle Africa as solace for his removal from the German political scene. Seeking to ride the wave of popularity generated by his young officer clique, Goring planned to take a position of Stahetler and rapidly push towards total sovereignty for the Kaiserreich, a full parity with the Kaiser's position, and seeks to expand his colonial fiefdom until it consumes all of Africa. These insane dreams could only have been invented within the mind of a madman, and the NKR has finally begun to fully understand just how dangerous Goring truly is. This information getting out, however, would definitely hurt the NKR's chance of winning the Stahetler's position, given that the likely reaction to Goring's schemes coming out would be a resurgence to the F RFG's recent rising power. As a harsh and opposite reaction, Goring's tyranny. With this in mind, the NKR has decided to keep quiet on this kernel of truth until all the necessary evidence is compiled and ready to present. For they will only get one shot at taking down Goring and his schemes. Perhaps he truly isn't different from his father in the corruption investigation. It's come to our attention that Berlin has begun investigating certain financial irregularities. It's not hard to imagine who is behind this. They would have to access the highest level of financial planning in the administration, like the Alter Kampf who fought under, under von Leto Vorbeck, who and who have resisted every change with the administration. So, caution. Oh, we're going to lose some stability. We can get Hadrian immediately, which I'd love, 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 but there you go. And stay in the MAF and ignore the investigation. Be ready for the collapse if stability drops. Hopefully, stability does not drop. We're only negative 50% stability. And if it does, well then, tough. God's commands, here we come. Deutschwest Africa. Reichstag Metal Africa. Ooh, Kenya is six. It's not bad. Uh, Nigerian Free State's one, three. Yeah, no. Nord Rhodesian is five. Totos in the Barate Commune. Illicit activities. It just, oh, hello. Oh. Okay, come in, friends. All right. Well, I read this a lot in the last time, so we're going to keep going with this one. Empower collaborations in Nord Rhodesian. And I got a couple days for this. Oh, also, I didn't realize this. Military depot raided. Oh, oh, the bandits don't ever seem to fear the might of our Ascari anymore. They have raided and stolen supplies from one of our military depots and escaped with the supplies back to the camps of Mozambique. Portugal must put an end to this. Um, I didn't realize this, but we really need to get rid of this stuff, so... I think we're going to go ahead and probably do Flandreau Wallonian investors, um, as well as French settlers. Probably just French settlers to begin with, just because we want to get the extra political power every single day. That'll be super nice. And what the heck are these guys doing up here? And we're still struggling over here. Colonial rule holds on to the Congo. We have received word from our subordinate colony of the Congo Verstadt for months. Pierre Rickmans and his administration have fought tooth and nail within, with the Mwawi of the southern Congo and Garanganza. Time and time again, peace talks have almost succeeded, only for such soaps to be dashed by another rise in a violent conflict. The region has not known peace or stability for what feels like ages. Finally, through either a compromise or force, the last of Mowawi's forces have been quelled, and it seems that peace has been brought to the Congo once more. Whether this peace will last, however, is just yet to be seen. Finally, peace has reached the Black Hot of Africa. And hopefully, we're getting a lot of air XP here. Well, some. A few good men. There's only a few good men. Oh, look at this. Yes. Get rid of the French. Ah, I love this. So, yeah, max out political power as much as we possibly can. Logging camps. I mean, that we just have to do that one. As much as I want another military factory, yeah, I, like, you have to do this one. I want to integrate and centralize these guys as fast as possible, so we'll keep going this way. Um, yeah, probably be the best. I mean, we can stuff over here, but it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, development for industry would be nice, but cost you got militarism. Appease Anglos. Kenya Ugandan is rife with the initiative taint or infiltrative taint of the fallen Brits in their failed empire. Despite Longden being a bastion of cynicalism with their monarchy humiliated in exile, the Anglos and Nero being beyond remain stalwart as ever and firmly control their autonomy. We must work to appease these laws for now to preserve what little unity that we have so as to remain unified, remain unified front against the rowdy natives. And the conflict between pastoralists and agriculturalists. Across Africa, ethnic conflicts between agriculturalists and pastoralists tribes have raged for decades, if not centuries, and it's no different here in Kenya, Uganda. Especially with the northern highlands, where fertile soil and bountiful game fields are both common and plentiful. Hunter gathered groups still slaughter their farmering neighbors for various reasons, whether it be stealing land, abandoning tradition, or simply being foreigners who migrated to this land, such as the Mas Maasai, who long been persecuted by the pastoralists Ikikuyu. We must intervene in these conflicts and stop this needless bloodshed to maintain stability and unity within the free state. Alleviate urban ethnic tensions. The cities within Kenya Uganda are relatively peaceful by middle African standards, with racial violence and inequalities being lower here than in most of the colonies. And this is showcased nowhere else better than Nairobi. However, we're still far from a cosmopolitan utopia, and as such, we should take some steps to alleviate the current racial tensions that do exist, particularly between the various different religious and ethnic groups within the urban populations that have long butted heads, as well as the rising tide of African socialism. Eradicate the Malmo rebels. <clears throat> 
The Mau Mau, perhaps the greatest current threat to middle African stability, and as such, they're the most pressing issue that the Free State must deal with, led by the enigmatic Nzi Obama and his field marshals Kamathian Matanga. This ragtag and cult like group of social zealots tout a bastardized form of European Algerian totalism spurred on by the insane religious beliefs of some ghost goat and a pinch for cannibalism and horrific brutality. Eschewing metal as a cursed material, they use makeshift mostly wooden firearms, a traditional tribal edge weaponry to ritualistically and savagely hack apart their enemies in an attempt to ward off the inevitability of colonization and civilization. They must excess this parasite and eradicate every last trace of their vile movement, lest their dangerous ideas spread to infect further minds. Uh, Rain in the Leakies. Leakies are a batch of Anglo brothers and cousins who are currently serve as the main figures within the, in the Anglo administration, lording over the Free State. Although we've given them Apple's autonomy and free reign to run Kenya Gun as they please, they've taken this as an invitation to completely ignore the will of Berlin Dar es Salaam. We must reign in these pompous and arrogant fools, for they've forgotten their place. They lost Valkyrie, their empire utterly failed, and it is Berlin, not London, that now stands in the modern capital of the world, and they are better to remember this fact quickly. And of course, expand the German settlement. In order to fully combat and negate the Anglo's influence in Kenya Uganda, there's one simple reality we must change. Currently, there's more Brits in the Free State than Germans, directed by this. We should open the Free State to German settlement, for we have respected the authority of the Anglos and the deals we've made as their empire fell long enough. This rich, fertile, and temperate colony shall serve as a beacon to anyone in the Kaiserreich seeking a new life abroad, and by offering lucrative incentives, and by quietly burning old land contracts given to natives and Anglos, we shall ensure many Germans come, and that those who do come, do come definitely have a place to stay and build their new lives. warrant. Seeing von Gorn fiercely resist any attempt at official investigation, the German government has seen it fit to issue an arrest warrant for the Scott Hitler at the grounds of obstruction of justice. Fetch me ship, I shall fight this battle in court. The sovereign is he who decides on the exception. Well, we just, oh, he changes his face. Look at that. He's a very ambitious man, and that's what we like about him. But now it's 49, so we should get even more political power, power now. We actually have better weekly change of stability, which I would hope so, at negative 63%. And we can only get 0.15, which is not great. But that's okay. Okay, so, hold on. No elections in Portuguese question. We should launch a formal complaint against... With Portugal. The continued call existence of these bandits camps oppose a clear threat to a colony if they cannot deal with a few bandits. They're clearly not fit to be colonial power. Some of the Portuguese consul will do this ourselves. Uh, I think I want to deal with this ourselves. We might just be able to rush in. Are we still a puppet of them, or what happened? No, we're still in the Reich's Pact. Oh no, we don't. Use the household. Now, they stand against us. The Portuguese have refused to disarm the bandits of been sending into our colonies. If we wish to stop this, we have to take the reaction against Portugal. Can we move yet? Send in the troops. If they won't or can't clear out the bandits, we will. Just in case I stop training too. Nothing they really care about. Save your curses from. Oh! Yeah, whatever. Let's go in. Ah, uh, Goring is leading it as well. Oh, you know what? Do that too. Thank you very much. Disperse industry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's only 1937, but that's okay. Special forces would be all right. Naval stuff. Military. Oh, we're gonna probably need a lot of military police. Let's be real here. Hey, y'all. You, you probably want to get down here as fast as you possibly can. We're gonna focus here and then jump over here and try to take these guys all out. Nice. Nice. territories. I wish it was a certain thing like we get just like a special one for uh, us. So we like, yeah, we do want to kill you all off. A sovereign state. With Von Goring's recent success in the legal battle against the Kaiser, many of the NKR's former leaders have left for Von Goring's new faction within the Middle Africa administration. The Suvanistan, who argued that MAF should be a sovereign state ruled by Stahler, and they're even more radical than the NKR on the internal issues. An interesting development. Oh, remove all foreign ministers. Oh, good God. Nice, seventy-four percent. So I'm just dominate Middle Africa. A strange state of affairs. Yay. Seven's not bad. Um, getting rid of the French propaganda efforts. Don't really get too much. Are we still in the right spot? We are. Nice. Point three eight. That's way more political power than I thought we would ever have here. And there goes those guys. Nice. Fourth Balkan War. Beautiful. Crush him there, and these guys are doing very well over here as well. I love it. Motorized. Oh, we'll see if I actually use Panthers or not. I don't know. 
Oh, and everyone else come over here. And just, like, destroy them this way. You guys are going to continue going down here. Yeah. Should be fine doing like that. <clears throat> Two divisions should be good enough for what, the militia. Yeah. Let everyone else get over there quickly. Sublime Ottoman State. Anything else? No? Okay. Deal with the officer divide. Wait, where is that? Easy English political actions. Oh! With the recent electoral win for the more radical camps within the Middle African political scene, the long standing officer divide between the military staff of the DKG and the NKG have threatened to tear our military apart as the old guard and the newer colonials each fought to have their doctrine and tactics implemented over the ideals of the rival. However, with the new political reality being what it is and with the DKG newly weakened, we have begun to reform the military command structure and doctrine along the lines of the NKG's ideas mixed with the ideas from the likes of Hyman Goring, Ryan Not Hadrish, and others within Goring's clique of young officers. Hopefully, with enough time and effort, the scars of the old divide can be eventually erased as we seek to modernize and organize our military. Okay, we get a little more daily authoritarian support. The rift between the old guard and the young officer clique. Oh, that's so much better. Ooh, now pop support goes down just a little bit more. Human trafficking, no one cares. Mahawi, nice. So we lose political power, recovery rate. Um, yeah. It would hurt our support for this a little bit, but whatever. A little more paternal autocrat support, a little more authoritarian democrat support, which sucks, but whatever. Oh, we going to about this because we're protect and serve. Nice. New plantation open? Awesome! I love plantations. I own a plantation myself. Keep him busy. Meet the new boss, you betcha. Oh! Wait, we can do a sovereign state now. As this is not a path that we should tread lightly, forces both within and without will. Forces will both try to get rid of us. I have to be at peace for this. No, it's a Middle Africanish Reich. Stand as one. On par with the Kaiser. Remove colonial government. Wow. The Shah Hotler's Greater African Plan. We should probably wait to do this one until the end of the Protectorates. Direct rule from Dar es Salaam. Secure forces loyal. Cult of personality. That'd be really nice. Abolish local self governance. We have no stability, so we should probably wait to get more stability first, because this is going to kill our stability. Prepare for the worst. Wieskönig. Nominal pulpit of Germany giving us greater autonomy. Revenge on traitors, which is nice. Ooh, black market influence. Rule by fear. Oh my god, that's so good. I like that a lot, though. I do want to see what we can do about integrating these guys one at a time peacefully, maybe? I don't know. We need more political power and stability and stuff like that, too. Don't get me wrong. I do want to get through all this stuff as well. Because oh, we'll get this one too. Ooh. That'd be pretty good as well. Industrial development. With a new budget in place, we were able to develop industries in Middle Africa. Sure, why not? Keep going in, guys. You're doing a great job. Where the heck are you going, though? What? What the barnacles are you doing? Bunga, bunga, shara, dunga. Oh, you guys are in the war, are you? I cannot join the war. God dang it. Stupid. Can you guys do anything here? Do we, we did throw on artillery on these guys as well, so. You might just delete that division, maybe. Dealing with the French, the French, where minority Middle African solar groups have often been overlooked by our government, but now as of now they've arisen on what to do with them. With their small size, we could easily get away with Germanizing the French, but some are saying we should just leave them be. The decisions left to our leader who has the final say. It's not Central Africa, uh, Central Africa, for a reason. Alright, so maybe doing this doesn't make any sense now. Because you can centralize them as much as you possibly can. Maybe it's a waste of time, I don't know. I don't think we do their political power anyway, so I'll screw it. Hey, 0.53, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. If you just capture, like, the cap... Well, I guess you can't really get the cap, can you? Ah. Huh. <clears throat> there you go, nice.
logistics. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, let's wait, let's do one more. I just show why not. Nice, so that's all done down there, which is really good, actually. Death charge throwers. Uh, if you need to run away, that's fine. Uh, resource extraction. Ah, because natural wealth is stacked, we must have upper means of accessing it. Of course, this is my first time doing this, like, so I'll have a much better idea of how to do this later on as well. I just wish these guys would come into the war too, god dang it. Oh my god. You bunch of ding-dongs. Well, you guys can get back here if you really need to, I guess. You're gonna force it. Don't care what happens, you gotta force it. You're fine and make them weak. That's pretty much it, man. Didn't they cut off? Not really. There seems to arrive nice. Now you guys go right there. I'll try to force it as well again. You're going to lose some guys, but whatever. 0.72. Nice. Keep investing some funds. Nice. Kill that division off if you can. At this point, now we can do 1938 stuff, like radar, or not, research speed, yeah, that's what I meant. Nice, thank you very much. Now, do we have our planes here too? I forgot about the planes, whoopsie. My god, they're taking so long over there, it's ridiculous. I love bombing middle, middle Africa. Oh, it's one of my favorite things. All right, mining campaigns. Uh, what is this? I don't mind this one as much because you get more national napop support, which I do like. So let's get rid of the Flangelonians. And then a hundred, you lose a little bit more stability, whatever. You get a hundred and more infrastructure. I love, 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 love. Beautiful. Just embezzling funds, that's all. Good job, guys. We've lost only six thousand versus thirty-five some thousand. That's actually very good. Good job, guys. The Portuguese surrender. We defeated the Portuguese in Africa, and they have started negotiations to surrender. Now it's time to decide what we want to do and get out of this war. The old guard suggests we should only take northern Mozambique. That was the original goal in the war. Members of the NKR suggest taking all of Mozambique or establishing security zones in Mozambique and Angola, while the most radical members of the administration say we should strip Portugal of all African holdings. What should be done? Northern, uh, all of Mozambique. Take it all. National populism goes up more. Remove border raids, yeah. We want it all. You bet we're gonna take it all. Why wouldn't we? Oh, thanks, thanks guys. Um, actually, you know, even have you even left? No, you haven't. Here, just stay here. Just keep bombing them. Beautiful. Keep going this way. I kind of want to see what this way is like. I don't want to have any real big issues and stuff like that. But so, so we're gonna stop losing so much stability. Hopefully. We can start doing that way and get more political power so we can start centralizing things more and more and more, hopefully, because I would like to get all this stuff done. Um, so, the sovereign state. Now that Goring's position is sovereign state, Hitler's been established. It's time to turn the rest of our administration towards furthering autonomy and authority. Protect ourselves as well. Sovereign state. And then establish a line of security so we can go this way, maybe. Because then we get the extra political power, construction speed, factory output, even more political power, stability, war support, daily nat, pop support. Um, so I'd like to just kind of go around this way first. I like this a lot, but we'll probably go with the Established Alliance Society. Africa's long been rumored to harbor secret societies like the Le Leopard and Crocodile Societies, who are supposedly responsible for many unsolved murders and criminal acts. We can borrow those Arab mystique for our own growing body of assassins and other enterprises. So is this, is there any point to do this at all at, at this point? Like, we could change, political power goes down, even more stability. Is there really any point to do this? Because I, I still want to get to, like, partial mobilization. If we do that, we're just going to cost everything we have. We go straight to war economy next, which is actually nice and free. So we get way more cities to work with, build way faster, and we'll see what happens. Is there actually more planes? Ooh, chaos, yeah. I love chaos. It's one of my favorite things ever. Bomb the heck out of him, man. If you're not being bombed, you know, you're not doing your job, basically. What if we did Southern Rhodesia? There's a train. 
I love a sovereign state. Makes me so happy. Funds disappearing. Disaster in the future. Maybe I should have taken that one. It's probably going to bite us in the butt in the, later, in the future, but whatever. We got a lot of war support, though. It's really nice. Guns wise, we're out of guns. We're really out of motorized as well. Southern state. Still going down just a little bit. Reliance of mercenaries. I mean, I like the weekly war. I like the weekly manpower. We get a lot of war support. We lose stability because of it, though, too. So 38. Grab some of that too. Finally defeating the Ukrainians, huh? Social Democrats. Actually, did we get a docker out of that? No, we did not. That sucks. Stop to the line society. Christmas in Middle Africa. If you're into this again, please go ahead. Yay! A revenge on traitors. Goring's brush with prison was a close call, and the ones who were determined to bring him down must pay. Such a plot against the sovereign stop Hitler is paramount to treason, and uh, <clears throat> we treat as such thus full justice is in store for these traitors. Uh, the 38 budget. The black money was two years ago, yet its impact is still viable or visible. The economy is slowly getting back on its track, but we're in the same situation that we were before, so we focus on military and civilian matters on our budget this year. Germany needs our army. Ooh. Yeah, construction speed out. Factory output to be balanced. Nice. For 1938, we prepared to make up for the lost growth and to undertake some development projects impossible in 1937. Uh, that's going to be bad, but it's only that. University of Kinshasa. A new university on the western coast will foster technological uh, growth. Okay, you get more social liberalism for a little bit, but that's all right. Oh, man, that's looking really bad. Reliance of mercenaries, officers clique, establish reliance society, British protectorates. Funds disappearing really hurts us badly. Um, so that's really bad, yeah. Can we return the funds later on? I think that'd be cool if we could do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's get seven. Get up fourteen. Then what? Um, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh crap! Uh, I don't want any of this stuff. So I'll just give it all to Germany. So give us a lot of score. Germany, you can have all of this stuff. Oh, we're not even close, are we? My apologies about this. Oh my goodness. Not right, Germany can have all that. No one wants that stuff. How much does he Oh my god, Ukraine costs a lot. There's a lot of little states we have in Kaiser Redux here, don't we? Uh, slightly better. Give it all to Germany and then they'll poop out a little puppet thing, so that'll work. Dealing with the Flandro Wallonians. Though a minority in the rest of Middle Africa, the Flandre Wallonians have a massive monopoly on the Congo resource mines. Due to this, many members of their government have said we should finally remove their tendrils from the Congo and put them in their place. But others are saying they should be left be left if they give us concessions. Wipe them out, which I like to do. We lose a lot of political power. Demand concessions. Negotiating annexation with the Congo. We reach out to the Congo Vrishta. Seeking to foster a more, far more closer relationship, and by that we mean a full dissolution of the minimal borders between our administrations and a complete and total subservience to Dar es Salaam. Though these terms seem severe, much of our administration feels that this is the best way forward to maintain stability across Middle Africa. A small but vocal minority have been decrying these actions as an affront to the ideals of Middle Europa, and have betrayed our close allies in Flanders Valonia. A better alternative, they argue, is to force the Congolese to buy their independence, making them pay a large sum of money, large sum of money to maintain their autonomy, unable to reach an agreement that choice of slides with our Hauptmann. Force them to pay full integration, but they decline. The Congolese have declined a generous offer, and as they apparently have their desire for autonomy knows no bounds in return, even paid a king's ransom for the rich bounty of material resources that lie with them. Just take the money already, which we remove them, and we get political power out of it, which is great. Um, not bad. I had to reload the save just because things crashed earlier or so. Every time you try to load the game up, it, it crashes, which sucks. Um, we can deal with the British, but then we'll start losing way more influence here, too. Um, the mercenaries. We lose two percent war support, ten percent more of that. You get more political power though, which you do like. Um. Then again, if we remove this as well, you also remove uh, that, that popular support there too. But we're doing revenge on traitors anyways. Uh, yeah. Let's do. I like the weekly map, but it doesn't very mean very much. Do the mercs first. Do the mercs are okay. Ooh, oh, hello, Union of South Africa. All right then. Happy 1938, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Subscribe to this too.
Alright, so with all this extra PP lying around. Um, I want to keep going with this way. I mean, does it really matter? I mean, I don't know. If I, I'll probably do this at least twice. Probably. Of course, we just still do one of the University of Kansai. Kinshasa. My bad. Does it even matter doing any of this stuff as well? Like, bingo, bungo, bungo? The Congo is perhaps middle Africa's largest and most profitable state or asset. However, due to incompetent management, local rebellions, and stubbornness from the Belgian bureaucracy, we, uh, which never departed from following their loss in the victory, the tremendous resource has gone on top so far. I love plantations, as I said before, and I love them again and again and again. Um, at the very least, we should probably do this one, too. Also, with that map down there, Kongovierstadt 7 is under British control, centralized, Belgian control, Nigerian Free State, probably British control, Deutsche West Africa, tripartite control. Oh, it's over here. Lose more stability, you get more political power, and a civvy. Civvies are just so strong. I don't want any more daily paternal autocrat support, but we kind of have to. So we'll go that one. It's fine. Whatever. Look at all that PP we got. Red Flood, there's that one. Um, what if we just, just ram through all this as fast as we can? Or, retaliation for the Black Dossier. More offense? Uh, you know what, go ahead and get that one first, and uh, we'll go this one too. Our administration has maintained its now sovereign rule by the skin of its teeth. The corruption where we could have seen Von Goring, many of our senior officials spend the rest of their lives in jail. We now have the opportunity to return the favor. Well, an official retaliation would be difficult, we can use a growing criminal network, the Lion Society, to seek retaliation against its conspirators and reinforce the rule of Middle Africa. Vengeance. Vengeance, vengeance, vengeance. 13 out of 15 is not bad at all. That's actually really good. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this one. University of Kinshaha. Kinshaha. My bad. I keep saying that wrong. And to have no illicit markets, our first target. The first suspect of the Black Dossier is Georg Kraut, one of von Leto Vorbeck's most trusted officers during the Velkrieg. He is well respected for this reason and most likely gave his blessing to the project. He is already quite old and perhaps uh, it's easier, it will be easier and less suspicious to induce his retirement than to kill him. We can't produce a Black Dossier of our own and blackmail him into retirement. The allegations may not be true, but the old man won't want to fight them at this point. He should have retired years ago. But to have no illicit markets. Now that Goring has established his supreme authority, he can exercise control out of the nominal legal code. Legal code. This can benefit him in a more explicit way, allowing Goring to further cooperate with the criminal syndicates to further his power and profits. Along with Middle Africa's decentralized legal system and near non-existent reinforcement of laws, there's a little change of reper repercussions. The hunting accident. Our next target in retaliation for the Black Dossier investigation is Ludwig Bockholt, who frequently has butted heads with von Goring over the priorities of the Air Force as well as more personal matters. Since settling in Africa, Bockholt has become an avid big game hunter. One of her men was in this latest hunting expedition and arranged for a hunting accident. He swears that he thought Bockholt was a gazelle when he shot him, and the course shall ruin his favor. Another one bites the dust. Ooh, look at that. Even more political power. Not bad. Officer Cleek sucks up, but, you know, whatever. Relance of mercenaries, which are getting rid of. Quash you gun and militarism, Mongoring, Oscar is promoted. Oh, maybe we're gonna build up screw it. In Numen Disguisers. Beautiful, my friends. The death of Rudolf Asmus. The next target of retaliation for the black dossier is Rudolf Asmus, a diplomat with a foreign office, one who was ensured the foreign minister saw the accusing evidence and presented it to the cabinet. He is out of our reach often, but travels a great deal between Berlin and Dar es Salaam, a bit of sabotage to ensure that his aircraft crash and route to the latest diplomatic assignment. Another one down, we're almost there. No one needs to know what's going on. War industries would be nice too. It's only 20 days. I love how short these, some of these focuses are. Not bad so far. Get some more extraction, because you can. Uh, Result war. Now, the final target. We've long known that the officer clique behind the Black Dossier must have been someone in the highest reaches of our administration. These story sources, or sources of the leak, are even more embarrassing than expected. Von Goring's own brother Albert is a source. He's been staying in Africa under the fake name Albert von Epstein. Ooh, or Epstein, a name based off Goring's family Jewish doctor and godfather rather than an ambitious cons co conspirator. It seems he was motivated by a genuine crisis of conscience. We can't kill him. Family's family. Oh man, come on. Still under British control. I mean, level 9 is pretty freaking strong, not gonna lie. Um, We're doing that already. Grab this one. It's fine. A little early. It's fine with us. Tap into the list of markets, ruled by fear. I love fear. Fear is perhaps the strongest and oldest emotion known to the human race, and of course can be harnessed by Goring to further his power. Under him, opponents of the Stahler will spend every remaining second of their miserable lives paralyzed in fear of what Goring's men will do to them once they hunt him down. Now dealing with the mercs. When they encourage recent win in the political battle for control of Middle Africa, the new administration is moved to address Colony's outdated military. One way. They hope to deal with our glaring manpower issues to finalize our policy on the use of mercenaries. The three main attitudes they have that have appeared on this issue have been predictable. 
They're astonished professionalist war hawks of the old guard that want nothing to do with the unruly and brutish mercs. Then there are the moderates who feel that limited applications of mercenaries, particularly the special forces, where the harsh training would hone their rough edges. Finally, the radicals seek to hire as many mercenaries as possible to help solve a glut of skilled soldiers, regardless of the penalties. The debate shall rage for hours, but ultimately the choice lies with the helpman. Spend the lion's share of a military budget to hire those brave men in droves? Hire the best of, uh, of the best of our special forces and colonial guard. She don't waste her funds on these unruly brutes. Hire them. I think that would be for the best, probably. Straight up, just hire them as many as you possibly can. Just because, like, we're going to need this. We're making this our own personal fiefdom. That's okay with us. Uh, it's going down slowly, but once we get a rule by fear, that's okay. And the protectors. I want to do that. I want to go through all this stuff first. Before we get there, just because I think that'd probably be best, just in case things get really bad. So, Kampala to Addis Ababa. Where are we supposed to get this done in a year? Did you get to Uganda? Will be completed within a year. So that's what it says, but you never know. Uh, Twelve days last. Rule by fear. Oh, we can do this one. Has completed the title. Assume the title Vice König. Oh. Farmers cooperate with the policy. At receiving word from the leaders of various Algerian countryside in Middle Africa, it seems a new efforts to reform our agricultural sectors quite literally borne fruit, as the dictum sent down from the administration to the farmers in the fields have been implemented with a little complaint from working class at the plantations. Our brothers in the farms and plantations will be very much content with the new policy. Hopefully, this means good things for the future of the colony. Hauptlingstuma. Local chiefs in the Congo have been more than reluctant to accept a rule, seeing as an extension of the old Belgian regime, or perhaps even Belgium. Or traitors of Belgium. This situation is not ideal to our plans. Aligning local tribes is a must for a rule for, in the region to be secure. Uh, regional Bureau for Arbeitskräfte. It's no secret that workers' rights in the Congo are atrocious, with policies changing a little officially since the times of Leopold. To keep the workers from revolting, striking, or otherwise turning to red ideals, uh, we have given them token rights in a regional office to manage them. Hopefully, it will be enough to shut them up. Veronica Stalbach, AG Congo. Steel barons of the Congo clashing the Congo have been detrimental to our profits and operations in the region. To rectify this, the government Dar es Salaam has placed Veronica Stalbach, AG, in charge of all steel production in the Congo. Uh, Siedlungstadt Luluaberg. The majority of the settlers in the Congo are still Belgians, with German settlers holding little to no sway in the local politics. Sending German settlers to take the Congo is bound to prove our influence in the region. And uh, the hub of this project will be Lua Luluaberg in Katanga. Cape to Cairo, railway finish, nice. After one year after Herman von Goring officially signed the go-ahead to rail workers go around the world to mobilize with the greatest feed in railroad history since the transcontinental railroad, the fifth golden nail is struck into place, much like that railroad. Two golden nails hammered in, the, in a Cape Town, and two more hammered at the far north of Africa in Cairo. This fifth one, nailed smack dab in the middle, has marked the completion of Africa's greatest civilizing project, the Cape to Cairo Railroad. Tens of thousands and 195.75.7 kilometers of rail, laid both by African and German workers from north to south through many different sovereign nations and unique terrains. Oh my goodness. The first train is set to run its course today with the whole distance, and today a new chapter opens in Africa's business history. Uh, merely the surface of German engineering. Nice. Awesome. The beating heart of Africa. Times appear to be changing in the Congo, and the vast wealth of its lands are being tapped in at a tremendous rate. Perhaps soon the vast riches of the region could make it to Africa's economic center, Africa's beating heart. Because I do want to do this one too, and the protectorates eventually Middle Africa has. It's always been a patchwork of treaties established within various African kingdoms, which retain their autonomy and royalty in exchange for acceptance of German sovereignty. It's time to end this, and only one law and one sovereign entity in Middle Africa. We'll see. Go and grab that. It's a year early, but I don't care. Grab that too. Uh, I'll get that anyways, because you'll probably use that eventually. The British, I want to get rid of those guys. Restate. How is this still under their control? I don't understand. Is there any point in even doing that? Or, just, or should we just rush and get as much stability as possible and annex everything? I don't know. I'm sure some of you guys have it in the comments, but my apologies for not reading them yet. Improve resource extraction. Standard developer means a resource extraction even further. Superior resource extraction. Time's going to make Africa the regional uh, resource power so it was always meant to be. We could try this one. I'm going to take a load of this. It was a crap ton of stability, which is... Is it still going up? It should, in theory, still be going up, as the game is lagging super hard. It is going up by 0.3. That's actually really nice. Um, resource refinement. We will further develop our means of refining the many resources yielded by Af the African soil. Because I want light industrial development as well. Uh, to recover from economic problems, we must develop our civilian industry. Well, we'll go this one next. Rule by fear. I love that. Um, it's still going down a little bit, but that's okay. Get way more political power, way more stability, and, and war support. So, almost one a day is really nice. I think we might actually go send in the army eventually, too.
uh, in Dunkel heads West Africa's. West Africa's often describes Africa's dark heart. Corruption runs rampant in fire zone, uses mean it means uses means completely outside the law to gain a labor force, which means reminiscent of slavery. Cleaning up West Africa's must for administration, the rule of money. While West Africa's vast networks of corruption may put our administration in a bad light, the officials back home don't complain to the Kaiser as long as it continue payment to Dar es Salaam. That way it is now, it looks like it'll be that way for a long, 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 long ass time. Anything else down here? Yes. Settlement Caesar, nice. Uh, might as well do this. Our arrangement with the British is expensive, inefficient, and above all, entirely based upon a pipe dream of theirs. Uh, Britannia Volt is gone. It's time the colonial governors accept this. We shall organize a conf conference to persuade the protectors to either unconditionally side with us in the conflict to come or submit to German governance like Nordrhein in 1925. Just so much political power. I love it. Like, what if we max that out? Cause we're, oh, we can't do that one anyways. We're going to wait to do that one anyways, so whatever. I'll oh, grab that anyways. There we go. A little money. <coughs> the main export of West Africa's coffee. The missionaries. And to this day, the profits from the are quite small despite the exorbitant prices. Hefty taxes on the product are sure to bring in some income for us. Despite high prices, we will hope that the exports of coffee will stay the same. After all, people will go to great lengths for a good cup of joe. Uh, breaking bread with the Duke. The Duke of Oldenburg is known to be quite a socialite and is known to have a great control over the region of West Africa. Since establishing control in the region is vital, it is important that we get it on his good side. Of course, some wine and fine game in a lavish party uh, could always help him sway to our side. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and choose this first, let time go on, we're going to send in the armies, we'll all lose some daily political power, but that's fine, whatever. And then we'll choose you. Regulatory blind spot. Well, West Africa has existed as a regulatory blind spot as long as it's existed, and while it may lead to public funds going straight uh, into the pockets of corrupt bureaucrats, it's always led to them to gaining profits in ways that are less than legal. We can know their means, but as long as the bills continue to be paid, we won't complain. West Africa pacified? West Africa seems to be pacified. Local leaders swear loyalty to us. Slavery has moved out of our eyes, and the Germans still fear to be in charge. And with everything our administration has to face, it's good enough Dealing for us. Dealing with the British. Before the Valkyrie, the British Empire had massive holdings in Africa, with them leaving many settlers across the continent. Now many of them are within Middle Africa. Much of the government is saying we should Germanize them and move on, but some are saying that Germanizing them could lead to a conflict between the two parties. Ave the British. They've already had it hard enough. Get it over. They lost you know, concessions. Shut them up by force. Uh, we lose 50 political power. The farmers resist our policy. Our policy of encouraging the cultivation of cheap staples for export to Germany at below market prices created unrest with both native farmers and white planters, giving them a rare common cause against their administration. Sit in the Schutzel Trupa. Schutz Trupa. Well, I don't think I can do very much right now with the political power. We could do some more of this stuff, though. It would be kind of nice. Um, can we, uh, how many days we got? Nine days. Dealing with the British. We're going to lose all this political power, anyways. Uh, war propaganda? Probably not. Um, that's the case. Artillery. Yeah, screw it. Get over it. There you go. Only negative 99, that's all we have. Um, we could end the protectors, we'll probably do them just a little bit as we continue doing this stuff, and uh, yeah. We'll be doing okay. Oh, hello. Oh, Autonoma Stadt Don Kalkisin is just. What the? What the crap are you? Von Panwitz? Annex is south. Oh, I almost flow. Well, all right. The nineteen thirty nine budget. The lost growth from the last few years of the depression may never be recovered, but for the time being, we're in a more stable position. Our economy, what's left of it at least, appears to be functioning at full capacity now. No compromises on production before much, much time to make up for. It's actually pretty nice. Nineteen thirty nine budget. The Kenyan Highlands Settlement Policy. The Highlands of Kenya are one of the last few areas of Africa suitable to white settlement. The rare combination of cool uplands combined with a healthy soil creates a climate almost like that of Europe, and excellent for farming. It's no wonder that the lands there is in high demand. Unfortunately, it's been long economically underused. The British settlers have proven more interested in establishing themselves as landholders uh, and letting the native Kyuku do their labor. If we open up the land to small German farmers squeezed by the Junkers estates, we could also improve productivity and increase their influence on the region, but also make the land shortage even more dense. A lot for German settlement. Also, we have uh, opium profits from Japan, so we're looking not too bad, but then we'll pass by West, West Africa. Oh, uh, this one as well. 1939 sees the world in flames. We must adjust our budget towards war, and then we'll do this one as well, uh, and the protectorates. Uh, we further centralize another Stadt Hitler. Yeah. We know a lot of political power do, or stability doing that, so. All of our protectors will be as annexed. I really want to do that one, but. The decentralization of our administration has caused untold problems and made uh, a rule of fragile as paper. Middle Africa must be forged in blood and iron. The first steps are to decentralize the continent under Dar es Salaam. Establish, abolish self, local self governance. One of the main hindrances towards Goring's rule is the incredible amounts of decentralization in his realm. The central government has little authority over the state, and local com communities run amok with their own rules and laws. It's time to end this. All will follow the wills of the, the Shah. The Sovereign Shah Hitler's proclamation. 
This evening, Goring addressed the entirety of Middle Africa in a broadcast of speech for the radio, with copies quickly finding their way through the entire continent. What began as a formal and typical address quickly took a change of tone, with the Stahelder abruptly denouncing the damaging particularist elements of the continent. The speech ended with an official proclamation all treaties, titles, and privileges held by the African kingdoms and their subjects are now unconditionally forfeit, with all former holders of the titles expected to swear an oath of loyalty within the week. This marks a sharp turn in Middle African colonial policy, and I'm sure have a serious implication. We've stopped receiving communications from most of the continent, perhaps presumably as a protest. It's time to tell some order whether they like it or not. Unlimited power. Now, nearly all power within our bounds is within the hands of the Hitler, but we can go a step further. All executive power in the colony will lie with the Goring, and only an executive decree by the Reichstag or the word of the Kaiser himself will be able to contain the will of the Stahlhitler. This is a little stability, but when political power more than daily nap pops up for. Hopefully, this doesn't all crash and burn in the end. I've got plenty of political power, though, so. I'm just kind of holding on to it to see what will happen. Um, yeah, just seeing what will happen. Farmers cooperate with the policy. That's very nice. Uh, came to this one. We avoided successfully avoided the collapse of Middle Africa. I want to wait to get at least 15% more stability, so that's way we can do this one. So, so see. Uh, it's already March 1949. Well, 1939, not 49. Oh God, we gotta do this stuff as well. This one war industry. The world's heading towards war. We cannot be left behind in weaponry or developing weaponry. Tanjika to Uganda. To finish Cape Cod Railway, we must connect, connect Tanji, Tanjanika and Uganda. Uh, let's save that one for last. Mzalzimia House uh, the Freedoms. Well, the rest of Africa barely under control, we look to Ost Africa, the only region to our vast colonial control that's been relatively pacified. Dar es Salaam is seemingly the only city in Africa that is welcoming to us and the only city in Africa that seems peace. Germany proposes a single currency. Uh, if you want to this, please go to Hess. Uh, I'm going to say no. Just because we want to create our own place. Here, on par with the Kaiser. Mm. Uh, Subject partner states. Count us in. Deutsche Middle Africa. Oh, I'm not sure. I don't really want to. A sovereign state. A nominal public game is greater autonomy. We're gonna say yes for now and say no later. I don't want to lose any more political power, but we're fine with PP right now. I'm part of the Kaiser. Great plan. Mm. Count us in for now. We're gonna say no later. Goringshafen. Named after Herman von Goring, the Goringshafen bit naval base be the largest in the Indian Ocean. Dwarfing even Singapore and Karachi. Once completed, it'll be in the Middle Africa squadron under direct supervision and out of Governor Hadrich's hands. The base. One area that our armed forces is dearly lacking is the Air Force. Luckily, Herman Goring has extensive plans to overhaul and reform the branch of the Middle Africa's Air Forces. And due to his hefty influence over Middle Africa, he'll probably get his way. First part of his plan is constructing large complexes of air bases in North Africa. Something's wrong. Very, very wrong. Uh, we're no longer hard hearing back from border garrisons. Supply convoys are being raided at an alarming rate. Many native elements of our troops are deserting, and we still haven't heard a thing from the dependencies. The atmosphere is this tense like we've never seen before. This doesn't look very good. It was stability, intimate, collapse. So, if I have to redo this, that's fine. Slon de Fat Snapa. While much of Africa's economy must come from the continent's vast riches, another source of income since glossed over is tourism. Wealthy tourists from Vatelan and beyond will surely pay a pretty penny for champagne and tours of the vast safari. Africa Schloss. The riches of Africa, richest of Africa's rich, have come to reside in Ost Africa. Uh, while here they've tried to bring the luxuries of the Vatelan home with them, including the vast castles of Germany, rumors of these castles being built with human bones are nothing but silly myths. And the Kaiser Reich Stadium ground? Within the massive Goringshof and naval base, with the Zeppelin Field Airport and Air Base Complex, Dar es Salaam has become capable of handling thousands of aircraft and hundreds of ships. Millions of tons of cargo flow to our harbor and their, to the railways. We are the capital of Ost Africa, Africa and the marketplace of the Indian Ocean. And I don't think there's anything here we can really do. Unless we just really want to collapse. Probably not. Even though we have rebelling people, such as in Burundi, Rwanda, and whatnot, and Gabon has wanted to strike up too, uh, peace in Africa? Somehow, Goring's insane scheme has worked. Against all odds, the Ascari of Middle African government has crushed rebels and enforced a harsh peace upon the colony. The damage from the chaos is severe, but the position of the sovereign Stahl Hitler has never been stronger. Was there ever any doubt in his leadership? Of course not. Uh, so we're going to crush these guys as much as we possibly and quickly as possible. So, uh, hopefully they get here quickly. Because, my God, they're taking so long. They're taking so long to get here, even though I know the infrastructure here is, as some would say, god-awful. But whatever. Oh, and the Congo, the missionaries arrive. People are rebelling, you know. We don't talk about the stuff, you know. 
Go, 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 go. Only negative 13%, that's all. Oh, can't do this either. Good to be a piece, so. The base, might as well. Move faster. Also, like, these are now not core, which sucks. Which is incredibly stupid, but whatever. If there's any way we can get more stability, that'd be great. Hope 1v1, hopefully they can't beat us up, so. To Cleaverville. New plantation opened. Oh, hello. Oh, crap. They break away. Also not good. Goron's recent moves have gone too far in the eyes of much of the Alton camp for Middle Africa. As he wrecks his personal fiefdom, the rest of the old guard watches with disgust looks, but his, his passiveness continues no longer. But von Daimling and the rest of the Alton camp have seceded from Goring's camp, hoping to create a strong and stable resistance against this mad king of Middle Africa. With this evaporation of Goring's strongest and most well-respected allies, many feel the burning glare of the Kaiser will finally shed light on the structure of place. Um, till, unless a miracle occurs, Goring's days in power are numbered. Just get in there quickly. We'll see. Ah. Point in the way out. Noir. How do you pronounce it? I want you guys to get up here. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. We got a circle, but no one gives a crap. Ah, oh, crap. Not more. Yeah, we're falling apart just a little bit by a little bit. The base, huh? Come on, these stupid victory points are what's screwing us up. How have they not capitulated yet? Jesus Christ, that's stupid. They're dead. And we should be able to record this when we're done here too, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll go this one next. And we'll just deal with a lot of this off screen as well, probably. Integrated support would be very nice. I mean, at this point, we got so much political power, it doesn't even matter too much, really. I mean, cities would be nice. Uh, get a military factory for now. We could use that. <clears throat> so, I, and we don't get any more cores, which does suck as well, so. Yeah. What are the best we can over here and over there? and and stuff like that, and we'll see what happens. And now we're on November 17th, in which we have not a lot of manpower left, uh, which we'll definitely need to get to at least a limited conscription, but we're doing spear resource extraction. I figured, you know what, might as well. Uh, we do need to compile it to Khartoum. The final step in the Cape Cairo Railway lies in the Sudan. We must connect compile it to Khartoum. I will do that when we have no more manpower. Um, so that'll be good to do. We're we'll actually need some manpower, like I said, but, uh, oh. Zambia, not pay licenses. Well, we'll give them until maybe until December to see if they'll actually pay us. So, uh, right now we are at war though against the Third International. Germany's called us into the war, which is not good for us because that doesn't allow us to do these focuses. Which I do want to do this one, abolish local self governors, which sucks because we have to be at peace for this. But uh, I'm gonna just read this one earlier. I'm pretty sure I will. So. One of the main hindrances towards Goring's rule is the incredible amount of decentralization in his realm. The central government has a little authority over the state, and local communities run amok with their own little rules and laws. It's time to end this, all will follow the wills of the straw hitler. And of course, we'll annex the British colonies eventually as well, too. In 1925, the island of Britain fell to the plague of socialism. Our armies moved into British territory to prevent the revolution from reaching Africa, establishing a trusteeship over the British colonies until a responsible British government could be restored. We shall end this far as the colonies of our eyes by, are right by conquest. Well, you know, let's wait till that one. Um, military reforms. It's time to modernize our army for a new age of warfare. Also, um, I'm going to use cons comments in the end, because I want us to be able to do this as well. Do, like, this stuff. So, at this point, like, I don't, I don't really care. I, I'll centralize it. But I'll only do that when we have enough stability, because we should probably have more than enough stability, but resource refinement. Must further develop our means of refining the many resources yielded by the African soil? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so then these, we're out of uh, supply, uh, convoys anyway, so whatever. Uh, we probably should make some convoys, too. We have no dockyards, which sucks. So let's go ahead and we'll make one right here. Finish the city first. At least get some sort of dockyard going. Military reforms would be nice. Um, of course, we got all these as well. P rifles from the Vatalam. Produce and weaponry domestically has always been a challenge for a fledging war industry. Luckily, Berlin has a few guns to spare to help with the defense of Africa, of course. Of course, we have some commons to go through as well, too. The African breadbasket, much of Africa is little in the way of agriculture development, but what we do have is harvested and cash crops suitable only for the tropics. The last Valkyrie showed that Germany is vulnerable to its lack of foodstuffs, and so by focusing on staples such as corn and rice rather than tobacco and pepper, we can help ensure victory, which is also good as well. 
Um, manpower, it's almost 1940. Go and grab some better artillery, because you can. Sure, we'll take a non aggression pact for now. Long range air force. Africa is far from the major theaters of war. In order to engage our enemies, we must construct a fleet of long range bombers capable of even trans oceanic voyages. Even if we never use it, our ability to project air power across the Indian and Atlantic oceans will greatly improve our prestige. Heavy equipment. Our militaries have matched the standards of Germany. We shall need equipment, tanks, planes, artillery, guns, and more. Oh, hello. Uh, these are the weapons of the modern war. Start Hadrian's reforms. In order to be used to our fatherland, our naval facilities must be expanded upon to accommodate larger ships, even battleships and aircraft carriers. Continue, continue the reforms. By purchasing vessels from German shipyards, and purchasing antiquated vessels from the Kriegsmarine, we can stimulate the uh, German economy and strengthen our own naval industry at the same time. Um, Urlaub and Cameroon. Cameroon is one of the original areas of Africa under control. Under German control, I should say. And thus has been established a presence stronger than in the rest of the continent. However, with the administration behind or based in Dar es Salaam, and the administration stretched, it's the only time before we have to completely overhaul the government in North Africa. Supp supplement the Schutztruppen. The Schutztruppen command has largely been uh, running thin through Africa, and to comp complete them, we need everybody. Oh, look at that. Uh, and everything. Every dusty weapon, every ra wayward criminal drafted into the forces, every mercenary. Anything is needed to defend Africa's vast unguarded lands. Nice. Uh, the 1940 budget. The war is good for business, some say. Others say it's bad for business. Well, it can't be disputed that our economy is doing well. The 1940 budget will provide resources and funding for years to come. Let's go and mobilize a little bit more. The worst is behind us. We now into the new era of economic growth. We have to, have to Kampala to Addis Ababa. It's time to expand the Cape to Cairo Railway by connecting it to Ethiopia, opening up a new route of trade in Africa. Nice. That went well. How was this? Oh, yeah. Mercenary auxiliaries. To fill in the gaps left by the shoot strip, and we have had to improvise. This has led to wide scale hiring of mercenaries to patrol the countryside and fill in for the army. This comes at a tremendous cost, however, a cost we may, have, may be able to pay. New Africa, Shia. Shifa. Uh, aside from the army, the armed forces in Africa are famously weak, as a vital junction for both the air and sea and expansion of naval and air forces in the region is due. Nord Afrikanische Polizei Truppen. Using paramilitary police forces has garnered more success in Tokyo, and we hope that using Polizei forces, uh, <clears throat> our Polizei Truppen could also help get North Africa under control. Additionally, it can help reinforce the overstretched and incomplete forces in the region, and North Africa secured. North Africa has gone quiet, not due to open rebellion, but rather due to the region becoming somewhat stable for the first time in nearly a decade. Time to celebrate the pacification of the region, at least for now. Nice. So we'll see what happens. Maybe this is all for now. I don't want to get through everything because I literally do not remember what happens. I want to get this all done, and I'll grab you. I hope put down a lot of resistance. We don't have this a lot of cord now just because, like, we had to do with a lot of rebels and whatnot, which I hate rebels, but whatever. Um, but it's Africa. What do you expect, you know? Oh, look at that political power. Mining, lodging, logging, Baltic glass scam, more civvies. That'd be nice. Uh, political actions. I want more uh, stability, but whatever. You know, whatever. Command, commandeer stuff. Uh, return Nigerian lands. No, we're good. Oh no, we're fighting them too. Watch out. Continue the reforms. Sure, why not? Yeah, that's fine. No, we can actually do nothing here. Yay. So I need dockyards. Finally, that's the Hadrian's reforms. With a proper investment, we can establish naval dockyards of our own and contribute to any new naval arms race. Sailing to the Kaiser Lusha Marine. Our vessels should not play uh, simply patrol local waters. We should send them sailing from Kiel to Tsingtao on exercise with the Kaiserlicia Marine. Ball Boston, huh? Equipment to the African divisions. Now that we have achieved parity in modern warfare, it's not enough for our Ascaris to service a colonial police force. Like the Gurkhas for the British and the Singhalese for the French, the best of the native populace will serve as shock troops for the German army or African war industry. African laborers will work for far less than the average German if we pay them well or at all. It makes sense, therefore, to encourage the development of simple manufacturing processes out suitable to African step, a war economy. War is inevitable, and time is precious. And the Belk we must gain a great advantage by mobilizing faster than the British in Africa. We must be the first to mobilize in the next war as well. Of course. Propaganda. Oh, we're doing okay with that stuff. We might lower this, because we are actually lacking. Oh, we have no rubber now. Oh, god dang it. Or aluminum. That sucks, bro. That really sucks. Artillery. Yeah, I'll probably go with artillery, just because it's probably the way we really want to go. Consecration of France. Oh. French Social Republic. Common France. These guys are, oh, they're pushing in. Somewhat. Um, size of battle. Air stuff. Get some air stuff. Get some more army XP and whatnot. Um, we are logging for Madagascar. Off the coast of Middle Africa is the island of Madagascar, ruled by its covenant general, Reinhard Heydrich. Its plans are vast. 
Yet this progress is slim, but despite all the problems, the colony is considered one of the Vaterland's most favorable postings. So through out the minds of everyone in the colony is only one question. Can Hadrish last? Oh, he better. He's not allowed to give up or quit, ever. Assist. Oh, Georgia. No, we're good with Georgia. Uh, I'll just give it to Germany. What do you do with this? I don't want to. Assist Hadrish with the Navy. Hadrish's plan for the Navy Middle Africa are vast, and the funds needed to accomplish uh, some of his goals are just as vast. Although we can assist him with his goals. The Anti-French Pact. The perfidious French still have Madagascar on their sites and the bureaucracy in their mandibles. We must lodge them by any means necessary, even if that includes turning the island's government upside down. A plot against the rebels. Oh, crap. Uh, not everyone on the island of Madagascar has been welcoming to the governor of Hadrish's rule, and we've been plotting to overthrow him in the German government there for some time. Well, the time has come for a plot of our own, this time we get the rebels of Madagascar, the Madagascar Fatherland's plan. Out of the way of most of the world, Madagascar sits. It's vast and used suit lands suitable for settlement, especially by the world's largest stateless group, the Jews. Ever since the French began persecuting them, the Hadrish lured them into this, this death trap, they have and found a home in Madagascar. And we aren't super eager to stop their flight, and in fact, we can help. And the end of Hadrish. Ah, ridiculed by natives, obstructed every turn by a united front of German and French bureaucrats, increasing the dislike by the naval headquarters in Wilhelmshaven. Hedrich is running out of friends, and his grand naval base will never be completed. It's time to end Admiral Hedrich's career for good. Ah, bread basket. Um, George is back now too. What else we got around here? Nothing else. Nothing too radical. So now we can at least get some convoys, build some stuff up. And really start repairing the crap out of everything as we're going to spend a lot more naval XP, but we'll do that in the next episode, probably at least off screen as well as we're mobilizing more, 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 more. And we're building ourselves up. Oh. What happened here? Oh, are we at War of the Entente now? I think we're at War of the Entente. Well, that means we got to expand this way too. Well, crap. I have a feeling they're not going to do very well, and I actually think we'll probably take these guys. Nap pops too. I wish we could declare war, man. I really wish we could declare war. Can you actually... Oh, it's going to be really costly for that. Uh, just get two for now. And I'll probably go die bombing. Let's see what happens. Europe Pop membership. As a member of the single Europa market currency as dictated by our middle Europa membership, it's incumbent on a NAS to align with the majority of the bloc by joining Europa Pop. This organization, the Council of Europe, exists to regulate trade and is a key part of further integration. Next final proposal. Yeah, these are probably not going to survive, which is fine with us. Go and do that anyways. Southern Rhodesia, thank you very much. We will gladly take them. Is it Southern Rhodesia? Zambia has a claim on it. I should have given it to them, but whatever. Um, did I lock them out of focuses? Hopefully I did not. Reinforced Middle Life was a blind spot. Pledge to the people. Uh, coup. Oh, my bad. Pacify Africa. Expand. Expel? No. No. Feather Army. So, total collaboration. Ooh. Hutig on t tour. Well, it's all right. That's exactly how we wanted it anyway, so. Are we on the map here? No. British control. Farmers cooperate with their policy. Nice. Uh, oh, here. You know what? What if we did that? Ascari's promoted. If you're worried about that, please go ahead. And now I'm just Kaisers. They better get some compliance. Oh crap, if they don't, I'll take that back, but whatever. Um, some comments included. Um, you should go with Goringia path in this campaign. It just get stability as low as you can. It's a fun campaign as Goring goes mad and forms a colonial kingdom but built on hedonism and cruelty. Someone else says, well, why did you say rest in peace to Reinhard Hedrich? Because he's dead! Someone says, although I wanted to see a Middle Africa campaign, I would like to see a democratic campaign in a Thousand Week Reich or in Kaiser Reich or TNO because I'm tired of national populist campaigns. Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, we'll be there. So, someone else says, I actually commented a while ago asking you to play Middle Africa, and you finally did. So, someone else says, yeah, I noticed the only place with radicals past would be better for the variety of ideology. So, makes sense, but I've got to end the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue pushing forward and seeing what else we can do with Deutsch Middle Africa. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.